Hi there. Motion tracking in three easy steps. Let's jump into After Effects and do that. Three easy steps. The first step is to create a track point. To do that, you select your layer, you go to animation and you have track motion over here. You click on it and you are now in the layer panel. You have your track point and the track panel is open. All you have to do now is to take your track point and put it on a high contrast area for the object you want to track within the video. High contrast because it's going to use the luminance to track the point. And you start tracking. Make sure that your playhead is at the beginning of the comp so you can track forward just once. And the tracking is done. Your second step is to add a target. So you have the target over here. But for that, you will need a layer. So I will get a null objects. That's your best choice. Having the null objects in the composition, you come to edit target and you say, okay, you can select null one, say, okay. And then you want to apply X, Y, of course, because we're going left, right, up and down and we click okay. And actually you have now the null object following exactly the track points. Your third step and the easiest step is to attach another layer to the null object or to the track point. In this case, I have the AM center. It's a nice video. I'll just put it over here. That's the video. Let's come over in the beginning. I want to attach this layer to the null object or to parent it. For this, you have parent and link. You right click. If you can't see it, come to column and make sure it's checked. And then you use the pick whip. Make sure you press shift, that's important, so it can jump, and then you parent it to the null one. Here you are. Notice how it has jumped. Here it is. And now you can adjust your layer the way you would like. I'll put it at 50%. And actually, these are the three steps. It's easy, simple, when you have a good high contrast area. We are still in the three steps for perfect motion tracking with a twist now. We are going to track the eye of this handsome guy and we are going to attach some graphics on the tracking. How do we do that? Come back to the beginning, select your layer and go to animation, track motion. And of course it will open in the layer panel. You have your tracker here and the tracker panel is opened, quite tidy. So let's select our tracker and come over here and put it on the eye. I'm gonna use the bright light inside the eye and that's actually what I use all the time. There is always light in the eye. If there is no light, it means the guy is dead. But you notice this guy is moving his head and sometimes he's blinking here. If you notice, it's going to close. So our bright light will not show. And then his head is going to move around very much and so on. If you start tracking from here, let's try it. In fact, let's do the experience. Analyze forward. And you will notice that it jumped and stayed out and really it was very bad. Let's redo that. I'm going to undo. I have nothing. And the way to do it is to increase the search area. So the big square is the search area and the small square is the featured area. And this small guy here is the featured attached point, something like this. So I'm going to make this guy just a bit bigger, not much, just a bit bigger and make the small one a bit smaller. I don't want to jump around very much. And actually I want to position it right on the eye just over here. Now I will analyze forward. And I think we did a better job, except when he was blinking, you notice that he jumped out and came back. Let's fix the blinking. So I'm gonna come over and, and find out where is the blinking. I think it starts from here. I'm gonna go backward. One, two, no. It starts actually from here, this keyframe. So I will click on it and just try to put it wherever I estimate the white will be in the eye. So let's say over here. I can test it to see it before and after. It's quite cool. So I'm going to go down again. Notice is I jumped very far. I will click and bring it in again. So I can see now almost where the white would be. And then again, again, up, it jumped over here. Let's come over and we are putting it on the white and jump again and here you are i think we have fixed it this is one way to fix some jumping not too much jumping here we have only three frames that jumped so it's okay so now if you play it from beginning by the way guy if you select your composition and play the video will play the track will stay on its place 
So what you want is to be in the panel here, notice the blue, and press spacebar to play it. They will both play the video and the tracker. I think we have done a great job now. This is cool. Now we jump to the second step, adding a target and editing the target. I'm going to create a target. In this case, it's going to be a null object again. It's always a null object. And I will come to edit target and make sure it's null object and not uh, linking with the background. I'll click OK. Then after having the target, you want to apply X, Y, yes. And here you are. You've done it. You notice that the null is following the track, which is following the eye. Now the last step, which is very easy. You take some nice graphics that you have created. I have it transparent background video i'll just drop it inside and come over to see it fine let's put it over here need now to adjust the anchor point before i link so i'm taking the anchor point and just dropping it here i'm not happy from that i want to zoom into the maximum make sure the anchor point is really in the middle of this yellow circle because i want to put the yellow circle on the eye itself let's go back to full Remember to press shift and then use the pick whip so the layer will jump to where the null object is. And here you are, it has jumped. Notice, if I play, I will see that, okay, I did a great job. Actually, I did. So that's very good. You notice the eye or the white of the eye is always inside the circle. Pretty amazing. If you decide it didn't work 100% with you, you can adjust it. Usually what I do is I open the anchor point of the attach layer and then I will move the anchor point somewhere like this, the way you would like to adjust it. But now we are okay. And here you are. This is some motion tracking. Perfection in three simple steps. I put off the null. So I hope you like it. I will hope uh, you will give me a thumbs up and you join my channel because I promise you, you're going to have lots of this motion graphics, visual effects and compositing and also video editing tutorials that are coming up very soon.